Water. Earth. Fire. Air. Have you ever wanted to be the Avatar? Use every single power at once? Well, today I have a build for you. It's using every single subclass in one. At least one effect from each subclass has been used. This build is absolutely insane with 95% damage resistance and infinite grenades. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So it all starts with the exotic Mothkeeper's Wraps. I chose this because it can grant a void overshield and the blind effect. This is really important as that's already two subclasses from one thing. Basically what it does is it adds another grenade and it changes your grenades to these moths that will blind and if there are no enemies it will come to you and give you a void overshield. The void overshields give you about 50% damage resist and a bunch of HP so they're pretty nice. That's a ticket to not go on arc or void. So which subclass should we use? Solar is off the table because there's so many artifact perks that we can just make solo without that. Okay, what about stasis? Well, with stasis we have a few options as well, but I think that stasis just doesn't have that kind of feeling that I feel like we could have. And with the 95% damage resistance we need woven mail and you don't really get that without using an exotic and that's a waste of an exotic slot so I'm not gonna say stasis so we've got strand left this is the option I went with because we can use widow silk to get another grenade three grenades that's a lot and then we can get woven mail with thread of warding okay so now with the subclass set let's try and get as many effects as possible and let's begin with our exotic weapon of choice say hello to buried bloodline i've chosen this because it can give us a devour which is pretty pretty overpowered it's not as good as restoration but you know heal on every kill that's pretty good uh, also with the catalyst we can weaken so that's another debuff if you don't have this weapon i suggest using something like dragon's breath in the heavy slot instead of our chosen weapon because it can make fire sprites which grant grenade energy the reason why devour is so good is also because it grants grenade energy which is pretty good since we're running an infinite grenades build now you probably saw in the gameplay that i was using a riptide with chill clip that's the next thing on our list but before i answer that question i wanted to talk about how buried bloodline and riptide are both special weapons this means that if we run out of ammo there's going to be no way to shoot anything and that might be a problem for you that's why i'm going to show the armor mods next before i show you the rest of the weapons i want you to understand how double special works first Okay, so basically, if you have double special, you'll create more heavy bricks and your heavy weapons will have a higher chance of creating special ammo. That's literally it, there's nothing else to it. But I also wanted to talk about a special finisher because this will allow us to just, you know, make enough for us to just be sustained forever. If you equip the charged up and stacks on stacks you'll be able to get armor charges pretty fast and then you just gotta finish your enemy and you get special armor not just for you but for your whole team this is pretty overpowered all right that's enough about armor mods for now let's talk about our other weapons so first up we have riptide and I want it to be with chill clip. This slows, but it applies a few slow stacks. And if you get a hundred slow stacks, it freezes an enemy. That's two effects. 
the next perk is going to be auto loading holster because we're going to be using all weapons at once so if it reloads itself while we're not using this one that's pretty good the next weapon is going to be a solar machine gun with incandescent if it rolls with auto loading holster that's really good as well I have the avalanche from Christmas but if you have any other machine guns then use them okay so now I'm going to talk about the artifact because there's a few things that are really important here first one being flint striker rapid solar weapon precision hits and rapid solar weapon final blows grant radiant radiant is a 25 percent damage buff to all of your weapons and since we're going to be using other ones not just the machine gun that's pretty useful then kindling trigger radiant causes solar weapons to apply scorch to unscorched combatants this one isn't as important as incandescent scorches anyways but we might as well use it then torch while radiant deal increased weapon damage to combatants affected by strand and stasis debuffs we're going to be using strand a lot so all the unravel will be everywhere and we'll just deal a 5% more uh, increase of damage to everything that's affected by the unravel okay now let's talk about pillar of ice this is important because when we freeze using the riptide and we kill something frozen it will create a crystal this is another effect then we use rays of precision while radiant solar precision final blow scores combatants to ignite again that's another effect then you can use solo operative if you're by yourself but if not don't worry about it also from whence you came is also a very very nice option on our subclass we're going to use this, the only super that we're able to use which is silk strike silk strike yeah um it's all right it's not anything special but i think it's a decent super not for dps but like for ad clear it's pretty nice for the dodge use marksman's dodge because i don't really like the melee and we're not going to use it that much uh, especially since we're using ensnaring slam a shorter cooldown is better then use whatever jump you want but triple jump is the best for the melee the only one we can use is threaded spike and then obviously the, the grenade doesn't matter because it's going to be replaced so use whichever one you want for the aspects we're obviously using widow silk and uh, it just gives us another grenade and then I use ensnaring slam because it just adds us the suspend ability but you can also use threaded spectre because that will just give us threadlings or if you're a beyblade guard you can use the whirling maelstrom in the video I tested it with that but I prefer ensnaring slam if you're running ensnaring slam use thread of mind if not use thread of isolation if you're running whirling maelstrom use thread of isolation if you're using threaded spectre I suggest something like thread of evolution but you know I don't have that because I haven't really played on strand hunter that much for the other fragments we're going to use thread of transmutation because what we have weather mail whenever we pick up an orb of power thanks to warding so any weapon final blow not strand any weapon final blow will create a tangle which is pretty nice because tangles are fun if you're using whirling maelstrom okay then we're going to use thread of generation this adds to our grenade because we're just going to deal more grenade energy and infinite grenades are pretty nice if you're not using Whirling Maelstrom and you want to use something else instead of Transmutation, you can go with Thread of Ascent. Since we're going to have three grenades and we're going to be pretty fast in the game, you might want to use that. Okay, so now on to our armor mods. On the helmet, we're going to run Thermodynamic Siphon, thanks to the artifact perk Flame, Fiber and Freeze. Uh, this will allow us to make rapid uh, orbs from our riptide and our machine gun and then void siphon so that we can get uh, orbs from uh, our pistol on the arms we use bolstering detonation 
firepower and fast ball. On the chest plate, only charged up matters then an arc resistance and whatever resist you want. On the feet, we're going to use stacks on stacks obviously. Recuperation, I know we have devour, but recuperation can help if we don't get kills as fast. And innovation. Then reaper, powerful attraction, and obviously the special finisher. And then prioritize resilience, and then discipline. And then whatever you want, I don't really have any other stuff that I can put in because I'm shit at the game. But here you go. For the weapons, here's an overview if you want to know. And I guess that's really it. The fashion's quite simple, it's just the season 23 armor with the normal shader and that, that's with the moss keeper wraps as well. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. If you enjoyed the video, uh, I know I'm like shit at editing this thing and stuff and my voice is really boring, but if you did enjoy it, please consider subscribing, it's free and I'm a small YouTuber and I have a dream, you know, I, I, I want to make a, a cool channel and it's not only Destiny videos that I post, or at least for now I only post Destiny videos, but you know, it's because it's my main game. But when I, I get I get bored of this game, I'm gonna make new content like GTA 5 and stuff. So if you wanna see that and you just wanna see a kid like play a game, you know, that's a bit weird. But uh, feel free. I, I don't really mind. I just want you to enjoy my content and have a good day. You know. All right. Bye.